Welcome back to Visa Fight Back. This is a video of two days, appointment day, and also my increase day. It's breakfast time. Um, I have a big change to my meal plan, but it's later in the day today. Um, but I am quite just thinking about it. But at the moment, it's breakfast time. Um, I've got my teaspoon that says just keep going to have my porridge with. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll get through the day, but bye bye, we'll just keep going with it. Also got my trusty positive quote bowl that says, you've got this. Um, and I know it might be a challenging day, um, but I also know it's really important in keeping moving forward. So we've got this, but for now, breakfast time. I wanted to apologise for the voiceover of this YouTube. Um, I'm really, really not very well at the moment. Um, I dodged the COVID for two years, but unfortunately it caught me eventually. So when I was filming the video, I was okay. But um, while I'm doing the voiceover, I'm definitely not okay. I'm really not very well. So yes, apologies for my voice and... I'm probably being quite short in what I say because if I talk too much, I trigger off a coughing fit, which isn't fun. This was my little outfit of the day. I absolutely love this dress. My meal plan increase today is not only an increase in like the amount of food, obviously, but it's a huge mental shift for me because since I went on to hot dinners, because I've been on half portions, we've been measuring everything out, um, like weighing out all the food. And whilst for me, I feel like it keeps me like safe, obviously it's not, it's not the life I want to live and it's very difficult. Um, for me, I'm a parent, there's a lot of anxiety around it. Um, and so today, moving to we thought about moving to like what's considered a full portion but then i was like but i'll still be then weighing it out and we want to get away from weighing things out um so we're going to normal portions basically means i have the exact same as what my mum has um and it feels very out of control and unmeasured um but i hope it will help my thinking relax a little bit my morning snack was one of my favourite bars, but unfortunately I found it quite difficult today because I was getting so nervous about my appointment. It's um, been a hard morning. Um, um, the um, option of um, inpatient care is... Um, really being considered um they're gonna look for a bed um and then when it comes available i need to go and talk to the place um they want it to be the right place um that can sort of accommodate like um my needs and it I, I can't, I can't do it, like, I, I can't go away from home again. I can't go back into a hospital. Um, I need to just find some strength to do this from home, because I can't, I can't think about, um, that, um, And I know everyone's saying it because because they care and they want me to get better. And at this rate, I'm not going to be able to go back to uni in September. And I just I don't get why it's so hard. Like, I don't get like if I've got everything that I want, I know what I want to do and I want to go back to uni and I want to get better. So why can I not just do it? Like, why can I not just eat more? It's so frustrating. Um, 
I don't want to go into hospital. I don't want to go through all that again. But I'm finding it so hard from home. It's just so strong. It's so... It's so difficult. And I feel like we're firefighting at the moment. There's a new fire each week and we're... We're putting it out and then another fire starts. And I don't know where I'm ending up in all of that. And I don't know where my parents are ending up and everyone's getting tired. And and it, it should be getting better at this point. And instead it's getting hard. I think I just need to take some time to think about it and... I spoke to my dad after the appointment and he was really good um, and I don't need to, we don't need to decide anything and you know what beds are like in this country, like I just for the moment just need to stick with the plan and keep, keep doing as much as I can do I guess had a bit of a challenging morning but sitting down to lunch and I've got my ham mayonnaise sandwich to have that my wonderful dad has made for me. We still can't find any of my corner yogurts, so I had a chocolate mousse again. I did some Easter baking to try and distract myself, but unfortunately it didn't go very well. I forgot to grease the mould so the bunnies don't have faces. I really didn't want today to be... I didn't want it to be a sad video. Um, I didn't want it to be negative. Uh, I think it's hitting me that I'm just not in the great place and I want to be in a better place. I, I, I have no, no idea how, how to make it happen. Me and mum went on our little dog walk which really helped. Um, just remind me why I'm keeping going because I want to be with my dogs and be able to do longer dog walks soon. I'm not having the best day but we are just keeping going with everything and I'm trying a new crust bar for my snack which is peppermint bark and I don't even know what that's supposed to taste like. Will it be like a tree? I don't know but we're just gonna keep going. Um, just gonna keep going. I had absolutely no idea what to expect from this bar. I was really scared it's gonna be mint chocolate and I hate mint chocolate, but it was kind of like Kendall mint cake if you've ever had that, or kind of like a candy cane, I guess. It was okay, I wouldn't repeat it, but I'm glad I tried it. Tonight for dinner, I'm moving on to full portions. Um, which I've been very nervous about all day. But I've got my positive cutlery and... I was so determined for this to go well and unfortunately it didn't. Um, I got very, very overwhelmed by the portion size and the fact it was unmeasured and I really, really struggled with it and it ended up in a really not a nice evening. It took a while to calm down but then I finished my paint by numbers um, and I had my night snack and went to bed and I wanted to finish this day on this quote. I think this is kind of how I feel at the moment. I keep trying but I feel like I keep failing and I just feel low. Anyway moving on to the next day. I had a really really challenging day yesterday. Um, Difficult appointments, very difficult conversations. But it's a new day. Um, up, having breakfast.
breakfast. Um, I've got my teaspoon that says hope on it. Um, it's a new day. Um, I we'll just, just need to keep going. The reason I ended up filming two days for this video is because I really wanted it to be positive. I had it all planned out in my head that it was going to be increased day, but I was going to manage the increase fine and I was going to have a really good appointment. And obviously neither of those things happened. It was an unexpectedly very difficult appointment and the increase was a lot harder than I thought. Um, and I wanted it to be positive. So I thought I'll film the next day, pick myself back up again and I wanted to manage it better and yeah, I wanted things to be positive. I guess that's the reality of where I am. Like things are difficult, but I'm just keeping going with it. Just gotta keep going. This is my little outfit of the day. I love this skirt so much. Um, my morning snack was my favorite Quest crispy blueberry bar um, with an apple and made sure I had the apple because that had been forgotten for a couple of days. Um, so I was getting fully back on track with it all. Um, yeah, I absolutely adore this bar. It's just so, so hard to get hold of. So I kind of use them sparingly. I didn't record lunch because I was finding things a bit difficult, but I have my trusty hummus sandwich and one of my corny yogurts again. For my snack, I'm having one of my favourite Quest bars, which is the smallest one. This is definitely in the top five of my favourite Quest bars, but you really need to heat it up because then all the chocolate chips melt. Um, but it's basically like a caramel bar with chocolate chips in it and little biscuit chunks. Um, it's really, really good. I am all wrapped up, literally got a scarf on and a big cardi, it's really cold. Um, but got my next full portion of hot meal tonight, so we got this. So again, part of my meal plan change is that I'm not allowed to weigh anything out or measure anything out. So this was all cooked and prepared by dad, none of it was weighed or measured. Um, and I sat down and I was determined to finish it and for it to go better this day. Um, and I did, managed it all. And I even had my yoghurt straight afterwards and me and dad just had a nice chat whilst we were eating. So yeah, more successful day. Then I started my new paint by numbers and did loads of it. Um, had my night snack and was absolutely exhausted so went to bed um, and I wanted to finish on this quote because it was a difficult few days but we kept on going 